Cardosi. Okay, live look outside right now. That's from the tower cam right here on Melwood Avenue. Isn't that a gorgeous shot? I mean, visibility way, way up that rain, washing out the atmosphere and too much rain, as you know. But nonetheless, as we look back off behind the buildings of downtown Louisville, you can see the clear to partly cloudy skies. Just a beautiful early January evening. Would be nice to keep this going, but a few changes in store late tonight. Another chance for a few, not widespread, but a few showers and thunderstorms. Best chances, which will be east and southeast of the metro. Right now, it's gorgeous. 60 degrees, humidity 83% of south wind in here ahead of a cold front at 10 miles an hour. Plenty of upper 50s, low 60s still around the region. Just a slow, trickly drop, if you will, in the numbers expected the next few hours. So it's going to stay pretty nice out there on this Tuesday evening. Boy, doesn't that look great? No rainfall. We have a clean sweep on the radar scan. Southern Indiana through the Commonwealth. But again, as the front approaches, it could generate another bout of scattered showers, a few rumbles of thunder. Heavier rain is now well off to the east and especially off to the south. Boy, it's been a rough afternoon for our friends in Georgia, Alabama, southern Mississippi, portions of Louisiana. That's where we still have a severe thunderstorm watch in effect and a tornado watch in effect, including Atlanta GA. And some of these storms have been quite strong this afternoon and that trend will continue this evening. Look farther north. See that little cluster right there? That has been producing a few tornadoes in sections of central Illinois. A lot of spin in the atmosphere and that's right on the cold front. Thank goodness as the front approaches, it doesn't have a lot of instability to work within our region. So we are not expecting a huge severe thunderstorm outbreak, but a couple of stronger cells will be possible to the east and south of the metro. Boy, to the northwest of the storm, it's been cold, it's been icy, it's been snowy. And we're talking portions of North Dakota, the uh, South Dakota region, as well as Nebraska, Minnesota. This was Sioux Falls, South Dakota earlier this morning. And the snow was coming down at the rate of one to two inches per hour. By the time everything was all said and done, they were expecting 10 to 16 inches of snow and that system continues to move off to the northeast. No snow around here, but watch what happens as we dive through the evening. This is midnight. Notice a couple of isolated cells in southwestern Indiana. Those tend to die out, but a redevelopment of showers and storms in our south and southeastern communities, most notably just east of the I-65 corridor. That's where a couple of stronger storms will be possible very, very late tonight. Tomorrow morning, everything gets on out of here. Dry weather returns. Hey, tomorrow looks to be a delightful day with a mix of clouds and sunshine, dry skies pretty much from start to finish, and high temperatures on your Wednesday. Still a bargain. Early January, we'll take this. Upper 50s to near 60 degrees. Enjoy that because the cool down will continue the rest of this work week. All right, partly cloudy, a quiet evening on the way, upper 50s and low 60s, and then that shower chance later on. Looking through tomorrow, nice weather, 60 year high, cools off, middle to upper 40s Thursday. And Vicki, as we go forward in time through the upcoming weekend, early next week, yeah, it's not exceedingly cold. It's just about where it should be for the time of year. No major storm systems on the way, although a couple of fast moving weak systems could bring a couple of showers Saturday and again Sunday. So it won't be a complete dry weekend. It won't be a beautiful weekend. There will be a shower chance, but it won't be anything like what we had last night and this morning. Boy, it was making a lot of noise out there last night. Sure was. <laughs> All right, thanks.